Welcome back and now as you know the basics of Excel, it's now time to learn some important tricks and uplift our game within seconds. And the first trick that we are going to learn is called sorting. So what exactly is sorting? Let us take a look. So if you look at my data, my data has been sorted, has been ordered in some random order. If I look at the roll number, it is, you know, 542613. It is not following some specific pattern. So what if I want it to be in the roll numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 in a particular sequence of roll number? What I will do, I will select all the data here and I will click on this first tab here A to Z and Excel will automatically sort it, you know, in the order of 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will just press here and you see that Excel has done all the work for us and it is not just for the first column, it is for all the columns which we have selected and where, where there was data. And similarly, I can I could also do that Z to A thing here and you can see that Excel has done the reverse order 6, 7, 6, 5, 4 in the descending order now. And good news is that we are not restricted to do it only on the first column, we can do it on the any column. And for that, we will click here on this sort button here. And the first thing Excel is asking me is that uh, what is the sorting uh, parameter that I want. So I can select roll number, I can select name, I can select computer science. So let us say I want it to be name. And in the name, I want the uh, sorting to be from A to Z, like, you know, name is starting with A to come first and then B and then C. And I will press OK here. And you will see that Excel has sorting all the data on the number on the ABCD format on this particular column. Okay, and all the associated values in computer science, mathematics, physics and roll number has been automatically adjusted. And then, now the good news is that you can do it for any other column as well. For example, I want to be sorting to be done in the way that the people who have got highest marks in mathematics should be on the top, followed by the people who are the second and the third. So I will click here on the sorting option and I will click on the mathematics and you will see that Excel, uh, I will pick the smallest to largest and Excel will give me the sorting in a way that my the, the mathematics marks are on the top followed by second and third and fourth and so on so you can sort your data in any way so what exactly is sorting sorting is ordering data in some particular format so this was basically a small sample data and now i'm going back to my huge file where you will see the magic on this large data because on the small data you can think that i could do it manually right but the challenge really appears when the data is in large volume so you can see that i will select all the data here and i will click on sort and i will press i will uh, there is already some sorting applied here so i will click delete all the sorting that has already been applied so i will click on add level and i will say press by, sort by product id and smallest to largest i will press ok and you will see that excel has automatically done the sorting numbers with one are coming first and then second and then third and then so on perfect so that was the sorting done on the product id now what if i don't want the sorting to be done on product id i want it to be done on the product brand and i'm going to show you something interesting so please don't skip here so i will select all the data again and i will select on the rather select the product brand here and i will press a to z that is fine for me and i will press ok now you can see that all the sorting has been done brand wise the first are the first appearing brands are the ones which are with a and then b and then c so what is interesting interesting is that i will select all the data here and i will press sort and i will keep this sorting here on product brand and i will say add level i want another sorting within the sorting and the second sorting is basically let us say with the product name so within a brand i want that all the products with the same name should appear first and then appear second i could have done that or i can simply say that within the brand uh, those products should appear which have the you know uh, the pricing should be largest to smallest so i have selected largest to smallest and i pressed ok so if you go to one particular brand for example if you go to this american brand you will notice that if i select all the data here you will notice an interesting trend and that is the product price is basically in a specific format that is highest on the top and then falling 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 so you have applied sorting at two stages so this way you can organize your data in any specific sorting order in any, any specific order that you want i really hope that is uh, some trick of excel that you would really like 
now please uh, stop here download the file in the resources and practice yourself as well